Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up going on there YouTube super nerd vapes back at it again coming at you again with another review and today we're gonna review the coil master DIY kit I bought this on amazon.com a while back uh, it was about 35 bucks I think it was it's not a bad price compared to some of the ones you can get out here in the brick and mortar stores that's not a bad price at all Got our morning coffee going on. Hell yeah. I found my purple bug. I figured I uh, give a shout out to Adore E Liquid. The Purple Army. Got a purple cup. Uh, let's put that down. All right. Let's see what's in the contents of this. There we go. You see all that? Got quite a bit. All right, first off, what we got in here is our coil lead snips, or whatever you want to call them, wire cutters, coil lead snips. I like to call them coil lead snips because that's what I do with them. I snip my coil leads. <laughs> oh, if I can get this one out. Second off, we have our regular needle nose pliers, crimping, doing whatever we need. They also have another set right here, another cutter right here inside of them. So that way, if you are, you did lose or someone, or something, you can at least cut your lead coils that way too. Cool. The leads on your coils that way too. Next thing we have in here, we got our ceramic tweezers. A vapor's best friend. <laughs> These are really good ones too. I, I use them to strum out my coils, do everything I need. Sometimes I even use it to uh, fluff up my cotton, everything. Next thing we have is this pretty cool nifty little tool. We got this right here. This is our screwdrivers. And no, I did not just say screwdriver. I said screwdrivers. Yep, that's right, screwdrivers. Because when you unscrew this top cap, you can see down in there, Oh, they're falling out. There you go. See? There you go. You got about seven of these bits that go in the end of your screwdriver end. Nice thing is, is it's got this magnetic end. So that way, you're whenever you're using it and you go and you... Like, let's say you're working on your coils and you need to screw them down. And you go to set this down or something. It's not going to fall out. It's not going to fall out at all. In this one, it comes with four of the uh, Phillips head screwdrivers bits. And it comes with three of the flathead screwdriver bits. All right, and that's the screwdriver. It's a really good one. I like it. Um, it also comes, has a little clip on there, so you can, like, clip it onto your shirt or whatever, you know. Do the nerdy thing. Have a pen protector and everything. <laughs> Sorry, I was watching Revenge of the Nerds last night. Badass movie. I liked it a lot. I like it a lot. I used to watch it when I was a little kid. Since next off, we have our angled tweezers these are straight metal these I use specifically just for ooh, <coughs> fluff sorry fluffing up my cotton that's the only thing I use this for honestly still it's really good they're really good next thing we have in here these ones are a little difficult to get out just because they're so small you've got your Small scissors for cutting your cotton. 
Do whatever you need to do with your cotton right there. Next thing we have our goodie box. Yeah, our goodie box. As you can see, I've already got a shitload of goodies in there. I've got my coils up in this one. I've got uh, old coils that I can still clean and put back in on this one. I've got my extra drip tip in here, extra bait bands for when I sub ohm. Um, I got extra everything, pretty much. I've got extra everything. Oh wow! I even got a old fuse Clapton in here. No, you can't really see it, but got an old fuse Clapton. I forgot I even had that in there. Good to know. <laughs> Next thing we have this little baggie right here. This is like a bag of gold. Yeah. <laughs> what do we got in here? Oh, these right here. We've got. I'm going to show them to you individually. Oop, if I don't drop them. We've got this one right here. And we also got two more. Now, what these are, is they are your easy-to-use, do-it-yourself coil makers. Coil wraps. They have a little hole right here in the top. And they slip right off. Put your coil on there, you put your lead through right there, go at it, and then you just spin. And you just hold tight and it makes your coils for you. Wraps your coils. There's three different sizes inside come inside of the baggie. There's three different <laughs> sorry, my daughter just woke up. Go baby. Go on. Sorry, my daughter just woke up. Got out of her own crib. A little stink she's been starting to do that but anyways yeah these this little baggie here has uh, three different sizes of coil makers which is uh, your coil wrappers or whatever you want to call it um, the things that you wrap your coils with like you make your coils that's why it's a DIY kit because you can make your own coils now this part right here I was a little disappointed it doesn't work right I got a teardrop coming from my eye it really does not work right I gotta get used to this camera thing. I keep trying to look at myself when I should be looking at the camera. I gotta get used to this. Sorry, guys. With well, this one, I'm kind of disappointed. For 30, now I know why this DIY kit is $35. This ohm reader right here, piece of shit. Honestly, it's a piece of shit. It does not work right at all. I can go ahead and put my, my, it's got a voltmeter, and it's also got an ohm reader, and it's got your digital interface right here, okay, and on this, when I put, let's say I go and put my RDA on there, hey Alina, what are you doing, let's go let's put our RDA on there, get a, Fresh build and wick last night, so we'll see if this works. See? It's still a zero. But as soon as you untwist it, just a little tiny bit, it starts jumping the fuck around. What the fuck? See? And my coil should be right there at 0.15. But whenever I tighten it all the way down like it's supposed to be, it just comes undone. So I don't understand that. And that's one of the, probably, yeah, one of the cons on it. Yeah. So, well, after all that, that's what the review is. That's the DIY. Go. 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 Now. Sorry. My daughter's being a brat. <laughs> but anyways, that was the DIY, Coil Master DIY kit. Like I said, you can find it at Amazon.com. In this packaging, this is a leather packaging, by the way. It's also got styrofoam on the inside. Really nice styrofoam, too. Um, but you can find this on Amazon.com for 35 bucks. 
sometimes more depends on which one you which style you get I mean I got the older version but that's probably why my ohms reader doesn't work very well but other than that that's our review today now let's go ahead and give a vape and then get to our shout outs All right, today we're going to shout out David Settles. That's right. He subscribed to, one, subscribed to uh, my channel. And we're also going to give a shout out to Tommy Vapors. Yep, yep. He's always been a supporter of the Vape family and he always will be. And I love it. I'll remember on Thursdays, go watch No Fucks Vaping. It's a really good, really good live stream. I like it. All right. With that being said, all y'all out there in YouTube land, if you're trying to get off the Mickey sticks, keep on vaping on. Keep off of the Mickey sticks. Keep on the vaping. Don't get off the vaping. It's bad for you. Not the vaping. The icky sticks. The vaping. That's way better for you than the icky sticks. Honestly, it's probably, uh, they say it's like 90%, 99, whatever, percent healthier for you. But me personally, after been vaping for a while, I can actually play with my kids a lot more than I used to be able to. I don't get down, I don't get winded as much as I used to. I honestly don't have the pain inside of my bones that I used to. Yes, it's still there just simply because I have arthritis. Sucks. But it happens. So, all y'all that are out there in YouTube land, like, subscribe, and hit that bell. Why? Because we want more of my reviews. So, all y'all all, all out there in YouTube land, keep on vaping on. <laughs>